Yeah, I think there's a couple things. You know, it's obviously Salt Lake's uh, a very good team, and you know our most recent game against them. Um, I think we did uh, you know a pretty good job in the first 20 minutes, and then for whatever reason we kind of you know started sitting back a little too much, and we kind of broke down a little defensively after that. So, you know, it's mainly just getting back to the basics, and you know going over what their tendencies are as a team, you know, really trying to focus in on what, uh, you know, Morales does pretty well. Um, he's a guy who likes to drift and likes to float into different spaces and gaps and especially go out wide to try to find the ball. So it's mainly just going over, you know, how we're going to deal with that and also, uh, you know, how we deal with, uh, you know, their forwards and their, their midfield all together. So it was, it was good little review for us and uh, we should be ready for them. Other than the uh, clear height uh, discrepancy, um, you know, uh, Breck's obviously, you know, a, a little bit more physical, big guy, and that's not to say Marvin is uh, not physical because he's uh, for his size, he, you know, he's pretty good in the tackle as well. But um, you know, obviously Breck, you know, brings a little bit more of an aerial threat, um, especially in the box um, when the ball gets down on the right side of the field. Um, you know, Breck does a good job of, of, you know, really trying to create havoc in the box and, you know, uh, you know, be a big physical presence for us. Where as long as Marvin is a little quicker. Um, you know, he's, he's pretty good technically, and he likes to, uh, you know, take guys on 1v1. I think that's one of the things they both have in common. So they both bring a little bit different things, but uh, I know Shellis likes the, the aspects that both of them bring.